This is Sound Off 60, Southwest Louisiana's premier sports show. The moon may be over. You tell us. Right. How does Ed Orgeron handle that immense pressure in yeah. college football yeah. to win? And of course, yeah. what comes being the LSU head coach. You know, I understand the expectations of LSU. I have the same expectation of myself and my staff. Yeah. You know, I've been at Miami, and I've been at USC where you expect it to win. That's the reason I want the job. Yeah. Sound Off 60 is presented by Merchants and Farmers Bank, where your future is our history. Here are the guys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. Basketball, basketball hoops. We are crazy tonight with basketball news. Gentlemen, it's March welcome madness. to Sound Off 60. That's one thing they call I it. I know the term, mad. though. I yeah. know the term, though, when they say madness. Madness it is. slash crazy slash yeah. upsets. we got basketball to talk about right off the top. It's McNeese State with a new head basketball yes. coach introduction uh, earlier in the week. Uh, we have athletic director Bruce Hemfield going to join us uh, in the fourth chair later in the show to talk about the new hire of BYU assistant coach Heath Schroyer. Uh, Schroyer. Very impressive in the introduction press conference. It was. He says all the right things, as they always to. do. They're supposed to. Supposed right. To. Good, good, good. How many of those you think I've been to? Uh, we've all been to many. <laughs> uh, I'll give him credit, though. You know, he, he you know, good energy, good passion. Yeah. Uh, you know, 20, 25 second sound bites, get to the point kind of a yeah. thing. You can tell yeah. a lot yeah. by a guy. Now, will it translate to the court? We'll see. We'll see. And it, and it, we'll you know, it's just more one funny anecdote. Maybe the most unimpressive introductory press conference I've been to. And I wasn't fooled because I knew I had met him before. Guy named Nick Saban. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's good. His introductory press conference. Uh, now, later found out he did it. And he hadn't, he hadn't slept in about 48 hours. Real dry. Uh, At the time. Was, was real dry. So you came away. And I had actually uh, met Saban fairly informally at a, mm -hmm. at a uh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, me, three or four other writers, and just Saban, what, three years earlier at the Independence Bowl when LSU played Michigan State. Yeah. Nice. So I, I, and I came away very impressed that time. But his introductory press conference to LSU, I remember driving home thinking, what? Whoa. Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, yeah. I have no clue how we go from McNeese basketball I have back not, he, he to Nick Saban. Me, I'm, I'm off. He's always telling me about yeah. Nick Saban. You're Who always brings him bringing up? the conversation. Who brings him up? Nick Who brings him up? Saban. I, I'm just so <laughs> Nick yeah. Saban Basketball, out. football. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> next segment. I, I, I gave that. It's a, Example. I know. Of, of yeah. How misleading introductory. Got it. The other. Got one. it. I get that. I do. Got I it. Let that. me get my brain refocused I get that. here. Okay. It's refocusing, refocusing. It's going to take a little bit after this one. <laughs> oh my lord! All I right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll save everybody's thoughts and comments Can I just say on one Coach thing, Rick? Troyer in the next segment. Yes. I'm going to keep it on basketball. Didry. I promise you I Thank will. Thank you. How can a number 16 be a number one? Never happened in the history of the what? tournament, but it happened. But it happened. How does happened. that happen? I, I, you know, I, I have seen, I actually. Scooter. I have seen very little of the tournament, but I got to watch the last 10 minutes of that game. Scooter. You know. The greatest line I heard was, <laughs> was somebody, somebody said, I had a friend who's been out of the country. He came back and he said, Virginia got beat by, no, he said, Virginia got beat by Baltimore Hospital. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it could happen in this tournament. A in this tournament. In Baltimore beat oh Virginia. Oh my goodness! Uh, I, I honestly, Rick, it, I, I honestly, the game. I had, I had oh, never, I had man. never. I got on Wikipedia. I'd never heard of that school. I got to say, Good, I well, that no must be some school I've heard of that just changed their name. Mm, yeah. I, I know. Uh -uh. I thought they were no. a California school because a lot of California schools are, you know, four, an acronym of four letters. But yeah. the, the University no. of Maryland, Baltimore County, I think yeah. it was. Maryland, Baltimore County. They got That's an a, ER. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, of course, Baltimore is, a, you know, a, a big, look. The, the, I get it. This is, that. I mean, it is just, it's horrific. That, it it is horrific. It could be torn up, but I want to keep it. Because I still have a couple of sleepers still in it. Okay. Nevada and Purdue. Okay. But beyond okay. that, I'm just like. 
it's, guys, it's, it's, wrap, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it is Johnny unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, I, 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 because it was so fast and furious. Virginia gone. Xavier's gone. No. Um, North Carolina. Can. Now, these are top three in the top yeah. three. North Carolina gone. Yeah, Number three, Michigan right. State gone. Uh, Kansas, I think, is still in it, right? Are they? <laughs> I lose track. I think they are. I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Arizona, yeah, yeah. which blew yeah. my bracket early in the first yeah. in the first night. Arizona had, it was a Final Four team for you me, know, and nobody, they get beat by Buffalo. I, Buffalo. Nobody cares about your bracket. I'm just, uh, okay, but, Mr. Anecdote. Well, Mr. Anecdote. You have, you have to look at some of the games and say, wow, what about the Houston-Michigan game at the buzzer? You know, at the it, buzzer. Yeah. It, it, Wait, this is what you live yeah, for. Yeah, it little is. of the tournaments I've seen, I saw the last minute of that. Scooter. Yeah, see, you're getting lucky. You're yeah. getting lucky with these last minute tune ins. You like, yeah. can All he right. really hit this shot? And I'll be doggone if it doesn't go All in, right. Rick. Save it there. We'll get more into the NCAA as the show I'm progresses. Loving it, man. When I'm just talking it. about McNeese Hoops and uh, Bruce Hemfield talking about the, the, the future of McNeese basketball. Yeah. Coming up later on in the show. NIT. LSU Tigers still yes. in it. They're going to be playing Monday night if you're yeah. watching the show out at, the, at Utah, playing yeah. the Utes. Um, look, okay, the subplot of this, it, you, we're going to get it when something. we talk basketball. We're going to gonna talk about this in the basketball We're going to talk set. about this more? LSU okay. and UL Lafayette. Don't this, you, these two don't guys, you Will break, Wade and Bob don't Marlin, you break my, this Rick. could be in the octagon. They, these two guys Rick. should get in the octagon. <laughs> they I mean, so what is going on with Will these Wade, two knuckleheads? I didn't know that he had those kind oh, of Oh, it was high kahuna. entertainment. Oh, I'm sure it I was. I didn't know. Will, Will Wade made the comment like, am I supposed to be excited to be playing UL? What did I miss, guy? He said that, Scooter. He said, am I supposed to be excited to well, be playing UL? Well, see, he wow. waited. He, wa he, wa he was smart. I'll give him credit. <laughs> He waited until after he won yeah. before he talked any trash. All right. And then once he got warmed up, yeah. there got, was no stopping him. No, he he, he and, went off. It's good to see he went the off. passion and the it fervor. Is, really. He does have that little boy baby face. Yeah. And, uh, you know. It, you didn't think he would have it in him, though, really. No, I, right. I didn't see the game on ESPN. I saw some of the wide angles, but you were there. He yeah. and Marlon. Looked yeah. like they were going to get yeah. nose to nose there after but, the game. But well, the, before the game. Before the game, too? Well, they weren't <laughs> going to fight no. before the game, but they couldn't have been any colder if yeah. they'd been in that article. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's a great little subplot to a Rick. game that, you know. The best quote. It wasn't a subplot, it was the, the plot. plot. The, the there, best there. quote of the whole UL and LSU tournament was when he said, the reporter said, Well, coach, why did you call a timeout? Yeah. That was me. Was it you? No, I asked you him what I, I was okay. the one no, what asked him. One of the reporters said. asked him, say, Coach, why did you call a timeout? He said, well, I just wanted UL just to take it in. Mm. No, he said <laughs> Scooter, they, he was he, going no, at him. He said, he was they going at him. they never get to play us, so I wanted them to enjoy in, playing us a little yeah, longer. A little longer. <laughs> The old, Dude, it was crazy, the old man. comment, I think it, it was started crazy. off about why the bad blood or something, I don't know, and then he said, what are you, living under a rock yeah. lately? It was kind of a, uh, yeah. it, it was a build up it. to it. It was a I build up. We'll it. get into it more. I love it, uh, man. We'll get into it a little it. bit more. Let's that was some. a TV guy from Lafayette. I was it? it? Yeah. A uh, little egg on there. Uh, all right, uh, quickly before we get uh, this round under our belts, uh, baseball. Boy, uh, let's start with LSU. They're mm -hmm. into the SEC. Give us a sense of the SEC and, and the schedule so far and, and Mizzou and all that stuff. Yeah. The SEC is going to be a bitch this year. Really? It, uh, wait, what? What? Did I hear that? What? I mean, did I, did I, uh, I didn't can hear we it. say that on this show? <laughs> I'm going to take it's a drink. It's going to be a difficult <laughs> road? Yes. Okay, thank you, there. Thank you. Thank you. Wee. Wee, wee, wee. Okay. Quick take. I don't know if we're going to talk no, about it. No, this is it, later. sir. This is it. Uh, I would say LSU Hell Sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If I've taken two out of three. No, that's good. Uh, Missouri is a good team, but they're yeah. not one of the best teams yeah, in the yeah, SEC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, right now, I don't know where LSU fits in this. I still don't. Uh, still waiting for something to really click, and I you can't put your finger on it. Uh, when they're, I think their starting pitching will be okay. Mm -hmm. Their bullpen's okay when they throw strikes. Yeah. Uh, I think they will hit enough. They could use a little more power. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, I would uh, not alarmed by anything this weekend. 
but okay. you're not having any pep rallies. They hell serve. Well, not yet. Uh, on the flip side, the McNeese Cowboys. We all ran well, into Justin Hill at the at the press conference today. Yeah. Holy start. smokes! To be I mean, five and one. Five, yeah, in the, in yeah. The yeah. And all of a sudden, they sweep Stephen F. Austin, which is very difficult to do on the road in baseball, as, as Justin Hill mentioned that in his post-game press conferences. But they win their sixth straight. Yeah. Now they're eight and eleven. Remember the two and Those possibility just of a two don't and nine. Seem right, well, Rick. You know, you know, I talked about LSU holding serve. I think McNeese really needed that. Oh, big time. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm with you, know, you on that. Given the almost near disaster yeah. of their start. Correct. They, yeah. they needed a, uh, a, a they, flashy turnaround. And they like did. That. And, you know, with yeah. Justin, I, I did this when I saw him. And it's like, yes, we finally got some hits. Yeah. We finally strung some offense together yeah. at the right time. You need that. To move people around and to score some runs in bunches. Yeah. Of course, they've had yeah. games where they just, it was an onslaught, you know. Yeah. Uh, they get, like, you know, nine, ten runs in one inning. Yeah. So I think it might be turning a little bit. But. Boy, this baseball, these seasons that we're going to be experiencing, it's, it's, it's going to be this. It's gonna you be, can it's, have a year like it's, before it's gonna be and, fun. and be where yeah. you're at right now. It's, you're, it's, it's, all right. it's tough. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk more about uh, Cowboy basketball and yes. their new head coach, Heath Troyer. Now, he was, we extended several invitations to have the new coach yes. on this show. We always like to get him. We have to get him on, though. We, we have will to. We'll get him in the coming week. It, so we have we hope next soon, week we should have him, but he was busy with recruiting and getting and everything's up. But and we've got important. player defections to talk about as Two. well. Two. We'll talk about that Two. and so much more when we come back. So stay right there, boys and girls. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Barn Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. You don't have to sacrifice taste to stay in the game. Miller Lite, always brewed to have more taste and be less filling. Miller Lite. Hold true. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board certified and fellowship trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award winning research. The latest orthopedic techniques right here at home. Casio Sports Medicine. Only one light beer has more taste, less calories, and half the carbs. This one. Miller Lite. Hold true. All right, welcome back to the show. Gidry Hobbs and Cerro here, round one in the books. Let's get on McNeese basketball and the hiring yes. of BYU assistant. Keith Schroer as their new head football, new head basketball coach, replacing Dave Simmons after 12 years. This guy's been around Division One basketball guys uh, yeah. for 20 years plus. Uh, he's been uh, Portland State head coach, UT Martin head coach, yeah. an assistant with one of my favorite programs, North Carolina State and BYU and others all Wyoming. All, yeah. He's been around. He's got an impressive. He knows resume. how to yeah. coach this game. He does. For a guy, you know, from got an important uh, resume. Washington, D.C. area, it seems yeah. like most of his career has been out on the West Coast. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, Portland, uh, yeah. Uh, BYU, Wyoming, yeah. that yeah. kind of thing. He probably, you know, knew Bruce Hemphill for a short time at, at, at Wyoming yeah. uh, when Bruce was over there as an assistant AD. And Bruce Hemphill will join us uh, a little bit later on in the show about uh, to talk about the new hire. Uh, you know, quickly, guys, Kevin, you were there. What, what jumped out at you at the comments? What jumped out at you about the uh, first Coach thing Rose? that he mentioned? And Scooter can tell you that was impressive when my antennas went up. He said, I want to have people around the corner lining up for tickets. I want to all see about that. the money, aren't you? No, no all no, about no, the money, no. all about putting but we people know in, the in years past. The biggest problem that McNeese basketball has had is being able to put people in seats. That's been the biggest problem, not so much winning or whatever. But yeah, having people come out and see the product. Yeah, but, but I'm thinking. The key thing that he said that also impressed me that I use a lot on this show that you guys always give me a hard time about. Keyword, putting a product on the floor that the people will like. 
He said that several times. That's key, Rick. You didn't like when what Simmons were... had on the floor at times? They just weren't consistent, Kevin. I mean, look, they, they, you know, well, this, is the, South, this that, is the South. This is the Southland Conference. But, but Rick, okay. but Rick, the thing is this, Rick. If I'm gonna win, if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go and watch a game, I'm gonna have to be able to feel like it's gonna be worth what I'm paying to look at what's out there. All right. You always get him free. Stop uh, it, yeah. Scooter. Right. What jumped out at you? I, I know there's a lot of cliches. I know he's saying that all was the right key to things. Me. Uh, he's got pedigree. He's got resume. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, that's a tough question. Um, All right, let me let me usurp here. that. Let me usurp that. He's got a problem right off the bat. He loses his top score. Twins. And, and, the well, twins. Caleb was his top score. Yeah, now the Jacob twins, came so. off the bench yeah, a little yeah. bit more this year. Um, two player defections. Yeah. Uh, not good. No. Not good. Well, I mean, one's not going to stay, Rick. I mean, you're that, talking that, about twins. One's not going to stay. At first. But then I heard not only from a couple of players that were there today yeah. at the press conference, but I heard elsewhere that and it didn't make sense to me that they would leave because of a new coach. Right. But they were leaving anyway. Uh, and I, I that, believe that. Okay. I heard, I heard okay. some of that, you, Scooter. But you, I don't claim to have my finger I, on the McNeese mm -hmm. program. Maybe mm -hmm. you know better than I do. I call it defections. I did not know they I were, heard they were looking though, to leave. But did I not know that. With the hire, I think it just made it more it's evident it's that it was going to It's an easier transition out, if you That will. it was going to happen. Easier. I, I just think, look, it's, again, their top score. Mm -hmm. Caleb, an inconsistent top score, though, okay? He wasn't a Patrick Richard. Yeah. And, and no. I'm getting to the point where this program needs, I think this program needs an established star player. Could okay. it be Q Wilson? Okay, could it be the big guy down low? I don't know if he's dynamic enough because he's a rebounder and a yeah. defensive player. He's a double-double guy, okay? He gets double rebounds and double mm -hmm. uh, points, but he's not a flashy guy, you know what I'm saying? I think this team, this team needs a star. It needs a Packard Richard or a Kevin Hardy or even a Tier Brown from many years yeah. ago. Let's not even yeah. go back oh, to the Joe Dumars yeah. day. No. You know what I'm saying? But That's, that's but, my beat on it. But, okay. Rick, the thing is, I don't, I don't think that – Dave had a problem in trying to get those key guys in you're talking about. You've got to have to want guys around the state and around the country to want to come here, not because <laughs> you're playing in a new arena or not because of that. They've got to want to love to play for the person that's going to be coaching them. Rick. Well, okay, I'll give you that. That's key. I'll give you that, you know. But, look, uh, the new coach says, look, uh, you know, we're going to have to get some bodies in here. He didn't make quick. any commitments. Well, quick. I think junior college is coming. He's got to. You He's got to. holes to fill. Losing one or two players that you're talking about, yeah. these two defections you call them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that unfair? Is that unfair? Break. That's not going to make or break his program. No. I didn't say that. Okay. But you're losing your number one score coming back. You get another number one score. Oh, my gosh. You don't watch enough Cowboy <laughs> basketball, sir. <laughs> you it. haven't watched enough Cowboy it. basketball. I love it. You really haven't. It. You All right. another number one score. Uh, yeah, somebody else can okay. step up. Somebody else can yeah. step up. But they've been having all... With, Two years somebody else has needed to step up with the coach, same guys. Whatever a new coach, and I, I saw he went out of his way. The, uh, what, four or five players mm -hmm. that were yeah. there today, yeah. you know, it was almost kumbaya. Yeah. These are my guys. My guys. These That's, are my hey. guys. But, I mean, any time a new coach comes in, and he can embrace the guys that are there, don't get me wrong. Right. Nice. But you're starting over. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, That's no doubt. These, his guys are probably going to have different roles, mm -hmm. mix in with, with the his guys that are new guys. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, so my point, you just, you just answered my point. Saying, He's going to have to bring in new, new bodies. I mean, if I, oh, you're losing. And, and, and it, could be, it could be freshmen. It could be a freshman recruit. Who knows? Now, how does a guy come in from, uh, from BYU and, and secure? Uh, we'll see. I don't we'll know. See. We'll find out hopefully next week. I don't know how a guy comes know. in from BYU uh, basically sight unseen mm -hmm. and knows exactly where to go recruit. I, I assume it was close to here today. Yeah, he was yeah, 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 yeah. Where did he know where to go? I, I don't know, Scooter. Does he know where well, he said he, he, No, well, he, know, he says he's coached, uh, recruited Louisiana before. Okay. Yeah. I think he, look, he's, he's got to hit, he's got to hit Houston, 
Beaumont. He's got to hit That's some no big doubt. Markets. Sure and like, look, I brought up a like point. These footballers traditionally recruited the Correct. Golden Triangle. Correct. And look, East Texas. Here's, and, and I'm not drawing. I'm only using this as an example. Mm -hmm. And I brought it up at his press conference. Nickel State came in and blew the Cowboys off the floor. Doors Coliseum. Off. And I thought, holy smokes, these guys are long and rangy and quick and this and that. I'm starting, where did these guys come from? This is Thibodeau. New Jersey, Baltimore, <laughs> New York. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That new coach well, got them down to the bayous, I and they played the with discipline and athletic ability and soared over the Cowboys. That's my point. And he said, oh, look, what did he say? The new coach, take the blinders off. Yeah. We're going at this wide open. If I have to go to New Jersey you and get to, a guy, Rick. we're going to go well, to New Jersey. That wasn't anything that new. I remember over the years, I've looked at Mises' roster and the, how Had did a, few? a guy from Detroit finally go? Yeah, yeah. You know, and foreign like guys. Remember Diego oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. from South America? It's, you you got you to gotta broaden. Yeah. You got to broaden. You are always talking about recruit local. Recruit where is that? You got talent here. St. Louis. But, but you have talent here. You Not have talent here. To... But you should get what's here, Scooter. You should get what's here. Okay. Okay? You've got yeah. two guys from Washington Marion two years ago mm -hmm. that went on to D1 schools. Yeah. Why couldn't they stay right here? Okay, well, that, that's their choice. That's their choice. It I'm is. with you. But what I'm saying, though, but you're, saying, you're saying McNeese did not try? I, I'm just saying, Scooter. I'm just saying. Saying what? Do, do your don't, best to try to get the local talent don't that's here. Because what, what you do is this. Rick, this is what you've got to do, Rick. You get a guy from New Jersey to come here and play. Who's going to come watch him play? If he's good. Depends on whether they win. If he's if good. If they win, they'll come watch him play. You get two guys here locally that go to McNeese and play and do win. well. Oh, my gosh. They still and do win. well. Kevin. You have half a Lake Charles here. Kevin. You have half a Lake Charles here, brother, to watch him play. Regardless of that, Scooter, oh, where they're from. Kevin, but they, you've got to win. Yes, that's a key factor. But if you've they, got guys local, you win, it, it makes a difference. How much local can you get with where Patrick Richard and Kevin Hardy, and they still We've couldn't put We've got some local guys. Rick, I'm yes, just I'm saying, not saying history, it, Rick. history, Kevin. But I'm saying, you missed my point, Rick. They still can't I'm saying, draw. Try even with and those get guys. some of the local talent that's here. I'm not saying, that's what I'm I'm not saying. saying you don't try. But if they're not good enough, don't just recruit them because they're local. If they're not good enough. We let a lot of local talent leave. I'm just Maybe so. A lot of them leave. A lot, so. a lot of local talent leave. So leave Lake Charles and go play the elsewhere. One guy, the one guy was local remember, talent. Remember, I remember, I remember. A lot of local talent. Right. Leave Lake Charles. I remember a defensive go, back from we Lake Charles. We gotta go. Elsewhere. I remember a defensive back from Lake Charles High left. Yeah, Martin Zeno. <laughs> remember that name from Sulphur? Remember? Yeah. That would have been a nice pickup. Kevin I remember. But he went to Texas Tech to Texas play for Tech. Bobby Knight. Red right? Raiders, yes he did. All right, we're up against the clock. More when we come back. You had to throw that in, huh, Scooter? Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Check us out online at soundoff60tv.com. Enjoy a more reliable, responsible, intelligent, and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to your preferences, no matter where you are. Uncompromising, unmistakable, Luxair. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. Let's talk about funerals of the happy variety. See, back in the 70s, there were folks in Austin who liked music and Shina Bach. Trouble was, it wasn't always a delivery truck for Shina Bach. But there was a hippie man with a funeral car. Wisdom would say, don't put the fate of your beer in the hands of delivery hippies with hearses. Then again, wisdom does not drink. Welcome back to the show. Uh, let's go to the NCAA tournament. Coming up later on in the show, 
NFL free agency, and oh, we'll yes. get into some Saints stuff. Oh, yeah. And we'll get into some uh, players of local interest. Yeah. Saran Matthew is closer yeah. to home now. He is now. I mean, it's hot and heavy. It's crazy, man. The, the upper echelon is very interesting, and I'll say this because I, I, I just got to say it now. I have to, okay? Go ahead. You said last week, remember? You what didn't did say I say? anything. You what did said, I say? I said, would you pay $30 million for Kirk Cousins? Oh, the, God. The more important bring that up. No. The oh, more important goodness. question is, would you pay $20 million for Sam Bradford? I know. And they did. The Arizona Cardinals. $20 million, I, I, man. I'll, I'll just leave it as that. I'll leave it at that. We'll get into 20 it. $20 million. $20 million. $20 million. That's unbelievable. I, I, what did you see we didn't see? Sam Bradford. What, what did you see he must have. See? He must have video on every NFL GM Wait, in the league. What did, what I'm did not they saying see, good video. What did they see that the general public that's watching him play did not see to know. say this man won but twenty million dollars. My next dollars. life, I want to come back as a backup and a quarterback or Sam Bradford. Scooter, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going all over again and coming out in the third no. round. Matthews signed with Houston for seven point six yeah. million dollars. Yeah. yeah, but isn't that Scooter. less? Isn't that less than? Oh my God! Oh, yeah. oh my God! I, let's talk about it then. We've already, we've already, oh we're already into, the, we're already into the segment here oh. on NFL free agency. We can't oh, go back to start over again. No, All right, let me get my notes here again. because holy smokes, you just changed just it on me. Again, really. All right, let's do it. What? Um, all right, Kirk Cousins gets his thirty million from Minnesota. He gets it, Rick. Hilarious. Your former teammate, your former quarterback, John Elway. They signed Case Keenum to the deal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's introduce the Broncos' new head starting quarterback, Case Keenum. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Keenum again. I mean, holy smokes, John Elway, what are you drinking? What are you thinking about, Rick? Wow. That, that, that wow. Just... And it was, it was just so, we got the guy we wanted, which is, okay, yeah, right. really? You really wanted Kirk Cousins. But it was just wow. this and this and this, and then Case you know, Keenum. You know, but the money. Oh, my gosh, know, that's Rick. hilarious. The money know, they are willing to throw. At a quarterback yeah. who maybe had one or two good games. Does that tell you how desperate, desperate. the league is? Desperate. Yeah. For really good quarterback. AJ yeah. McCarron. Yeah. Oh Yo guys, God. never give me the credit on AJ oh McCarron. Oh my goodness. Ten million dollars with the Buffalo Bills. I don't know how. It's AJ McCarron. I told you I guys five years ago, I what did I say? How. He would be a better pro than anybody coming out there. You've got a Johnny Mazzetta. Johnny Mazzetta. As we have learned. What? Just because somebody will pay him $10 million Don't mean he's does be, not mean he's Scooter. any good. I agree, Scooter. I agree Is Scooter. he not an NFL quality quarterback? Has he proven you? Has he proven yes. You? He's, he's won games for the Cincinnati he's Bengals. He's an NFL oh paid he's great quarterback. He is quality sure. NFL With the quarterback. Cincinnati Bengals, You don't stay okay. in the NFL they unless are, you're an they NFL They are a playoff team, too, Rick. Let's move on. Okay. All right. Uh, Case Keenum goes Leave, after let that go. One, let that go. Uh, that was hilarious. Let that go. So, all right, Teran Matthew. Yeah. All right, big splash. Been with Arizona for five years. Made a yeah. boatload of That's, money. You know, yeah. Nothing reading, wrong. Okay, nothing wrong. I was wrong. reading that his jersey is the most popular. Is it really? It is. Seller it is. In, the, in the Phoenix it is. area. Is it, is. it really? Yeah. Yes, it okay. is. There's a whole honey badger. They love the honey badger. They yeah. love the whole deal. Yeah. But I never thought that he would leave Patrick Peterson because that was his big brother that kept him. On that yeah, B line, maybe on that B line, Scooter. Grown up enough now maybe he has. To yeah. where he, maybe he has. He but I didn't think need. that he would depart from that well, situation. Well, I think it's a good, it's a good move for the it. Texans. They need infusion of top tier talent. Yeah. yeah. That defense can be pretty good if they can stay healthy. So wow. good for him. All right, let's wow. get on the Saints. I don't know how much okay. we covered the, the Drew Brees uh, contract. Yeah. All right, but he will be a Saint till the end. He's got a no trade clause, twenty-seven you, million guaranteed. Do you know oh, what the deal is? Gonna trade do you him do you yeah. know what the deal is with this contract with him? Do you know what it's saying? You, do you know what it's saying? Tell me. Let me see how smart you and Scooter are. Okay. Drew Brees. What are you testing my IQ? Now Drew or? Brees will be the next John Elway of the Saints. You do know that, right? Hmm. You do know that, right? Interesting. You do know that, right? Front I'm just office. giving you a little bit to bite executive on. president of operations. Really interesting. Come on, guys. Y'all smarter than that. 
You know, all smarter than that. I don't Come know. On, guys. I don't know. Uh, you Come know, on he's now. got a lot of business interests. Drew he's not does. leaving New Orleans. They love him. Okay. The city loves this man. He's got a house why in would San you Diego. leave? He's got a home in San Diego. Too. But why would you leave? They love him. Uh, well, After the storm, Drew Brees could do no I wrong. I got you. But you're saying uh, he will eventually end up. Yes, he in, will. Okay. Yes, he will. We're yes, going to talk will. about That's the death of Tom Benson, by the way. I'm with you. That's not that far. No, we're going to talk about the death of Tom Benson late last week and the legacy of Saints owner Tom Benson. And where does ownership go later on in the show? Yeah. All right, so the Saints lock up Drew Brees. They also get back Patrick Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> he comes and he goes, and now he's back. They were look. They're look. not going to go into free agency. All right, they signed no. Alex well, Orford. Taking, That's uh, it. That's they. They were taking what I said, I believe, last week to heart. Yeah, yeah. It, they really don't need a lot of flashy. No, no. it's a. I and, agree, Scoot. And the flashier, I agree. The flashier, the free agent signing. The, the 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 more chance there is to me to get a, a bad guy for the locker yeah. room. They, the Saints have a good locker they, room. They right they now. flirted with Malcolm Butler from New England. Now he yeah. signs with the Titans. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But he also had an eyeball, according to reports out of New Orleans, uh, they might wanted to and get Jimmy Graham back. Yeah. See, now that, now, would now would that would have been interesting. That Although came up, Rick. From, that that from came up. From everything Breeze said, Breeze seemed cool with it. Yeah. If Breeze yeah. cool with it, then I'm kind of cool yeah. with it. Yeah. But I think the best of Jimmy Graham has passed. Now, his numbers last year were better than I thought. Uh, Ten touchdowns, 50-something uh, catches. Yeah, of course, I didn't see a lot of Seattle football. Okay, but, but that's but 10 I touchdowns think, uh, is pretty good. Seattle right now, they've just fallen apart. The wheels well, have come they're, off. They're, they're, the they're, wheels have come they're off. They're purging. They're purging. All right, the Drew wheels Breeze. have come um, off. Look, so, yeah, uh, all right. This is what's mind-boggling to me. Sam Bradford. <laughs> and there's not a lot of interest in Sam Bradford. I know no. that. But how does this guy, he plays a I third know, of a, has he ever finished a season? No. The, the NFL is hard up for, for quarterbacks. Yeah. All right? And, and $20 million. Now, it's not guaranteed. I know no. that. But it's still $20 million, 20 million. Dollars still that 20 he million. can make with the Arizona Cardinals. That's just mind-boggling to me, guys. Mind-boggling mind -boggling. is not the word. Chase it. Daniel. Back up. Well, now he signs for like $5 million. Yeah. And now they bring in veteran Tom Savage to back up Breeze. You okay yeah. with that quarterback guru? He's Tom a veteran. Savage? He's, a, he's a veteran. I mean, you know, if you have a drop off, you want did somebody. Did you not criticize him for get, not getting up off the, when he got hit and his, and he, his tongue was hanging out in his eyes? Yeah, I you did. did. The man had a concussion in the end zone, and you said, Why you gotta put he... that on me, though, Rick? And you used to call him a wimp. <laughs> Why you gotta put that on me? Literally, his tongue was out. He was vomiting. Made a comment about him too. He was oozing. What is this mean? He was oozing out of the mouth because he got hit so hard. Anyway, he's now. Let it go, long, Rick. So. Let it go. All right, so. Let it go. And before we go, oh, it's my always goodness. my second or third favorite subject. That. Here's the people that the New England Patriots have lost. Oh, my God. Not yeah, Tom Brady. Not no. no, it doesn't matter. Unless not Tom one Brady. Of them is so it doesn't matter, okay? Danny Amendola. Yeah. Deion Lewis running yeah. back. Malcolm Butler. Yeah. And the biggest loss yeah. is Tom Brady's left side, Nate Solder. Yeah. And, and they, they re I'm, I'm just Jeremy what, Hill. How, what do we talk about, uh, Belichick? Well, he just loves he, LSU. He loves LSU. Yeah. Yeah. He loves LSU, man. You know, other than Falk. It seems like it's always at the end of well, their career. Uh, well, what was yeah. it? No, 32, number 32 for uh, LSU. They, uh, Stephen. Uh, uh, you, uh, Ridley, 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 Ridley. There's been four or Ridley. five LSU. Yeah. Let me tell you something. LSU have always been able to put backs out that have been good catching the ball out of the backfield. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants. You're right. Why? I don't know, but that's what he wants. Crazy NFL that's what he off wants. season, and it's Maybe not like done Rose yet. Or. There it's it is. It's not Scooter. done yet. All right, when we come back, Magnese Athletic Director Bruce Hemphill yes. on the new Hope Skyer and the future of Cowboy basketball in the new arena and so much more. Coming Stay up right soon. There. Sound of 60 is brought to you by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. The Boys in the Box will be right back. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. You don't have to sacrifice taste to stay in the game. Miller Lite. 
always brewed to have more taste and be less filling. Miller Lite, hold true. Enjoy a more reliable, responsible, intelligent, and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to your preferences, no matter where you are. Uncompromising, unmistakable, Luxair. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. Only one light beer has more taste, less calories, and half the carbs. This one. Miller Lite, hold true. All right, welcome back to the show. Athletic Director from McNeese State, Bruce Hemphill, has joined us to talk about the new hire for the head basketball coach. His name is Heath Schroer from BYU and all points in between. He's covered some coasts, North Carolina State, Wyoming, BYU, UT Martin. Michael, he's been all over, he's been crisscrossing the country. Yep. What impressed you most about Coach and bringing him in uh, to run well, this program? One is the communication skills. I think y'all, all three of you saw today yeah. that he is an excellent communicator. Yeah. And the fact uh, that he has head coaching experience at level schools like us, as well as he's got major college experience at several schools at the high level. Yeah, North Carolina State, being very BYU, successful. And, and your old school at, at Wyoming, <laughs> where you were as well. Now you had, did I understand it, you, you knew him before this search started? Before well, maybe? back, it was, I got a kick out of the newspaper. Uh, they're talking about, oh, that's why we got him, is that we crossed paths. And I can sit here and tell you guys, he was hired at Wyoming the one, one year that we actually were there together. I knew him to say, hey, Heath. He said, hey, Bruce. And <laughs> that was the extent of it. Yeah. Too. I'd see him in the hallway periodically. So there was... It's not even enough to call a yeah. relationship. Right. Yeah. Right. Bruce, looking at the guy's resume, very impressive. Like you said, the coaching at a lot of the D1 schools. What makes him, in your mind, a fit for Southwest Louisiana so, well, and the one, McNeese Cowboys? One, communication skills. He's great with that. Not only has he recruited Louisiana, but he's got recruiting contacts across the country, both from AAU, graduate transfers, to uh, high schools, too. So he could bring us a national recruiting picture also. Yeah. McNeese Athletic Director Bruce Hemphill has joined us talking <laughs> about Pete Troyer, the new head basketball coach at McNeese State. Uh, Dave Simmons departs, is not uh, retained after 12 seasons. You know, the energy, the passion, we talked about it at the beginning of the show. Look, coaches come in, you want them to say all the right things, and he's been around the game 20 plus years, he's gonna say all the right things. But one thing that kept, coming out it was maybe it was me and I kept probing probing and the layer of the onions potential of the program potential of the community and the potential of this team attached with the arena I'm not as a biggest proponent of the arena as the solver of all of cowboy basketball issues but apparently I might be in the minority okay but well, that's one of the things that came out is potential <clears throat> and that had to really kind of get everybody yeah and it must have caught your, uh, your well, attention and again when you say potential and he kept uh, mentioning the term untapped yes because it has mm -hmm. not been done right. before. we've not opened the arena before too i think it's a combination of all those things bringing those together with the excitement the new arena again when people come in that arena they're going to say okay it looks nice but they've got to have a reason to come back mm -hmm. and that's where the community effort as well as having a good product on the floor will help all those come together. I think the other is involving the players. You know, having today four players out there on, mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. on the desk to be out there to be able to answer questions, yeah. too, is having that connection with the general public to make them, well, hey, I like what uh, Quateria said today. I want to come watch him play. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, <clears throat> Did he express interest in the job, or did you reach out to him? He called me uh, about it to let me know that he had an interest in the job. We connected again. We played NC State the year before last uh, mm -hmm. up there, and I didn't know he was coaching there. He walked to me and said, hey, you're Bruce Impel. I remember we were in uh, Wyoming together. I went, oh, yeah, I remember. I remember the, I remember the <laughs> yeah. name. 
yeah. I remember the name, but not necessarily the relationship. Yeah. And then he uh, called me a couple of times and he let me know he was interested in the position. One of the things being there, mm -hmm. Bruce, with Rick and Scooter, the one thing I mentioned him here on the show tonight was that that impressed me more so about him is saying, I want people around the corner looking to buy a ticket, a line, to come and see the product that we put on the floor. What can be different now, Bruce? We know it's the new arena, but what can be different now to make what Coach said a reality? Well, again, getting out in the public, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, getting out in the public, selling himself, selling the program, selling his players, too. Having a very good product, a team out there that has a chance to win every ball game. And then three, the excitement of that new arena. Having gotten a tour on a Saturday with Coach Schroyer to get to go through, not only down there on the floor, but we actually went up on the second and third floors too. And it is, no one else will have anything close to this anywhere. Wow. Mm -hmm. And in the conference, there's us and there will be everybody else. In the South and in the, across the country, they may have bigger, but not near of what we have. Boy, you're building up some expectations. He is. We're he makes me want to go walk into it now, Rick. I want to go see it now, it Bruce. Is, it is unbelievable. I mm -hmm. want to get into that in, in the waning seconds of our segment. I don't want to let that pass. But uh, in, regards to, in regards to the new hire and, and the coach, um, over 100 applications for the job. You narrowed it down to five, and part of that five, if I heard <clears> correctly, because I didn't want to come out and report anything prior to, was Johnny Jones, mm -hmm. uh, the former LSU uh, player, mm -hmm. basketball coach, along with uh, Jeff Moore from North, uh, Northwestern mm -hmm. State, and uh, Rick Lovato from St. Louis High School. I thought it was an interesting mix. Uh, mm -hmm. What differentiated a Schroer over a Johnny Jones, who kind of goes in that old Gritter thing, that yeah. old LSU, the Louisiana mm -hmm. connection, sure. if you will. Well, the good thing is, you notice with the five, we had two locals, the semi-locals, mm -hmm. who had support, but also had a lot on their resume to bring to the table. The other three were more regional and nationwide, yeah. too. So we felt like we had a good mix uh, with the five in there. And again, with over 100 applicants, that also showed the importance of these people, knowing what McNeese had to offer, could do with the potential. Yeah. Uh, too. So it wasn't just Heath talking about it. Right. They all had a big reason. And more than just the fact of, well, I want to be a head coach. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad it was a national search. Oh, yeah. I'm big on opening it up and going national. See who's yeah. out there, well, guys. I've said it over and over again. It's almost a statement. I, I'm, I'm sure there are others in what I would call lesser sports. I'm sure you mm -hmm. wouldn't. But I, I can't remember a major McNeese hire with less, well, it's rare that they have no McNeese ties, but to not even have any like Louisiana Local. ties. I can't yeah. remember one that big. Is that a statement for where you think? No, you need not to necessarily. Go? Because one, I treat every search different. Yeah. And it just so happened it worked out this way that we've got somebody with not necessarily McNeese or a direct Louisiana tie. It just worked. The next search, if when, when and not if, but when we have one. Could be very different. It could, it could work different. Let's get back on the new arena. One of the things about the new mm -hmm. arena, and I'm sure it's <laughs> going to be beautiful and that whole thing, but you, you said it from day one when you accepted this position. Mm -hmm. You have to make McNeese athletic events an experience. It has to be part of the entertainment no doubt. Ar ar arena, no pun intended, if you will. Part of that new arena is going to have to be the, uh, the, the, the secondary stuff, the, the, the eye candy. And then, of course, no pun intended, the food. You've got to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've you got said no pun intended, but you look at the scooter. Well, <laughs> what was that he, supposed to mean? Well, I, he likes to eat. We all like to eat. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. But you know, there's, look, there's where revenue is, right? I mean, look at the dome. Look what they've done. Yeah. All the new food it's, offerings. It's different. Every, Houston, the same thing. I'm assuming that's going to be part of the package. Well, when we talked about, and we've started talking about it as a staff with Dr. Burkell, too, we can have a great product. Some of those people say, well, I just want to see what it looks like inside. Yeah. We've got to give them a reason to come back mm -hmm. and want to be. I agree. So we have talked about getting some things together, talking to a couple people in town to make it, for lack of a better term, more like an NBA event. Yeah. Where the basketball, it's not just a basketball game. Please don't. It's an event. No. <laughs> Sound, music, food, Everything. drinks. It's got to catch your attention. Scoreboard, replays. It's got to have that vibe. Where right? there's something to. that's going on all the time. Yeah. When there's, the, initial, oh, I'm sorry, Kevin, the key thing is, Bruce, when there's a timeout on the floor, 
the action doesn't stop. Hey, if I'm you know what you. I mean I'm when I say you. that. I'm with people I'm miss agreeing. people miss the chance to sell stuff when they call a timeout mm -hmm. and everybody's like, that's when it should go up a notch. Sure. Yeah. Uh, sure. When is the official opening date? I'm losing track. Well, it's not because you lost track. It just it keeps ah, changing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have gone from typical building. Uh, especially with all the rain that we've had here the past yeah, few months. Yeah, we've had some rain. From June to July, we're now we're looking at August 2nd. August 2nd. I would not be surprised if it got pushed to September 1. September Right August. now we're staying August with 2nd. With the rain. No, no, it's going to be this year. Do we yep. know who the first basketball opponent will be? Uh, not yet with the men. The women will open up on a Sunday afternoon. We're going to try to make it a doubleheader right after the Northwestern State football game mm -hmm. uh, on a Sunday afternoon. The women will open up with Laf UL Lafayette. And the men, uh, we do not have a game. Would have loved to have gotten those Lady Tigers down here, Bruce. Well, I got the perfect. I got the perfect. I would have loved to have gotten those Lady perfect. Tigers here, man. He, he can do it in the octagon Bruce. at the new arena. Will Wade, Bob Marlin, right there, <laughs> <laughs> right there. Bruce, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Glad to have y'all here. Cowboys new head basketball coach. Wow. He sure uh, could not join yeah. us. On, but we hope to have you. We're looking Monday forward to having him on real soon. Talk about basketball and his vision yeah. for McNeese basketball. We'll take wow. a pause. We're coming right back. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Appreciate it. Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort, home of Sound Off 60. Round five with the boys coming up. It's triple digit season out here. Now chances are, you won't crack open a light beer and suddenly find yourself in the middle of a crazy yet refreshing snowstorm. Where a bunch of bikini models bring out more light beer to some crunchy classic rock riff. Nah. And anyways, you brought your own snow. And bikini models. And plenty of shiner light blonde. Nice. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. Welcome back. Many thanks to McNeese Athletic Director Bruce Hemphill yes. for joining us, talking about the new Cowboys head basketball coach. Let's keep it on basketball. Let's talk Will Wade. Let's talk LSU, UL, Lafayette. How did this thing get so tense? I don't know, Rick. But, How did this go but Rick, but don't you love this for good television? Rick, I would take this any day of the week watching these oh, two go too. at it. I would take it any day of the week. Any day of the week, Rick. I love it. When Just I, the comments, Rick. I love Rick. it when I go to cover a basketball game. And all the notes I took during the game, I just throw them away. away. <laughs> Don't have to write it at the basket. Nothing. The let's game, not, nothing. Let's game not forget. Let's not forget, though, the basket, the, the players played. I think there might have been a little bit of tense moments, but it was a good basketball it game. Was, it was. It was. Yes, it was. was. almost had it. There it was. was. one little yeah. minor dust up. All right. But so it was the yeah. coaches. No, it was the coaches. It was now. the coaches. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. It was and the coaches. And I'm paraphrasing There's no doubt. Marlin prior to the game, whatever his motivation was, it should have been a home game for us because we had a higher RPA. Yeah, a yeah, record. whatever. It should have been at the Cajun Dome because our facility is better than whatever. their gym. Whatever. The P Mac you know, is not a gym. Was it? It he was called. A, he called my P Mac a gym. A gym. I didn't LSU see that comment. Was, LSU was a three against six seed, and he thought he should have been the higher seed. Yeah. And Will Wade said, "I thought it had been a two-seven game." Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> called so, my P Mac a gym scooter. Uh, well, it, you know, the Cajun well, Dome was a better I, gym. I don't think he meant that derogatory. Oh, he did, but huh? But that doesn't mean Will Wade can't twist it around. Okay. I twist mean, all fair. Okay. You know, my look, at gym. they're both good facilities, okay. all right? Yeah, excellent facilities. The Cajun Dome is excellent. The P yeah. Well, I looked it up. Cajun Dome actually holds about 500 more, I think. Does it? Yeah. I thought it was more than that. No. All right, so I think these two schools need to play more. 
They, uh, UL Lafayette at, at times has been very competitive. I agree. It'll be packed. I agree. Next yeah. time they yeah. play whenever I agree. they I agree. Look, look. They're both going to run their programs. I thought it got a. It was. It was fun. It was good. And let's not get overboard here. All right. Let, yeah. Let's let's act like adults. All right. Now, I yeah. thought both of them. I thought Will Wade. He, he was okay with it. I mean, you know, he. But Rick, the thing been, is, he handled it well. I mean, you know, he wanted to get his punches you, in. You but he didn't go overboard. He didn't pull a Bobby Knight on anybody. No. He but, didn't pull a Bobby Knight. But okay. but you want that. I, I love the way both of them handled it. That yeah. doesn't mean they handled it right. No. <laughs> no. But I agree, Scooter, too. But you know what, Rick? In in basketball, so much that's supposed to take place that's physical, it's supposed to be on the floor. Football, you expect that guys gonna run into each other, gonna hit yeah. each other yeah. purposely. Yeah. Basketball, you try and stay away from that because you get a foul or a tick. As they went at each other off the floor, yeah. which right. made it interesting. That's why I loved yeah. it. I loved we'll it. We'll wait out and go kiss Bob Marley. Okay. He uh -huh. lobbed him a softball. Yeah. Now Wade, I think already had the LSU fans, mm -hmm. you know, in, in his corner. Oh, yeah. no doubt. He's got them, if not super excited, very encouraged mm -hmm. with what he did with a team with a lot of limitations. Okay? Yeah. All right. And he didn't say much before the game about Marlin's comments of, yeah. uh, you know, we the should CD. be He this, knew about them, though, yeah. We should be that. Yeah. But then when he would, would you know, he won. Got that W. Yeah. Yeah. And Got that he w. jumped in with both feet. Got that W. And Ed, then the fans, they yeah. really love him now. Yeah, he, he yeah. played it to the hill. Well, he Wade did. played he it to the hill. Smart, like smart on his part, Rick. Yeah, yeah he did. He smart did. on All his right. part, man. All right. And, uh, and, what, and really, he got beat. What Mar could Marlon say? And Marlon probably came off looking worse. <laughs> he couldn't back off of what he said before. No, he before. couldn't. No. Couldn't. So he really looked silly. I even said, couldn't. Well, the game should have been in the Cajun Dome, and it might have been different. Might have yeah. been different. You know, what else are you going to say? Nah, that that's, right, that's not going to work. Last round when we come back, the legacy of Saints owner Tom Benson. Stay right here. Sound Off 60 is brought to you by our friends at Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Sound Off 60, 24 7 online at soundoff60tv.com. For more taste, less calories, and half the carbs, there's only one light beer to grab Miller Light. Hold true. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board certified and fellowship trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award winning research, the latest orthopedic techniques, right here at home. Cassio Sports Medicine. to sacrifice taste to stay in the game. Miller Lite, always brewed to have more taste and be less filling. Miller Lite, hold true. All right, welcome back to the show. Final round here, we'll do some basketball, but before we, or, or some Tom Benson, yeah. before we let's get back to the NCAA tournament, I'm just kind of curious, who's the strongest, is it Duke? The last man standing? I mean, you know, is it Duke? You know, Kentucky Rick, has the easiest Or is it Kentucky? Yeah. Although, you know, really, is there an easy road? Did yeah. the first two rounds You're right. teach us anything? And You're you right. know, I love this. Man, the tournament's crazy this year. It's crazy. Yeah, 
It's crazy every year. Yeah, but this is this, this is a little crazy. Oh, this it is. much this more. Is yeah, this is much crazy. more. And yeah. we had the first 16 one. Yeah, I, I that, get that. That's big. That's but big. I mean, we say this every year. Why we do, do you think they call it March Madness? Yeah, we do. Uh, Texas A&M. Yeah. Look, I gave a lot of credit. I, I I had a lot of SEC teams getting about into the second and third round. Yeah. But I didn't think Texas A&M would be one of them. And now no, it's Kentucky I didn't either. I did. So it's 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 it going to be fun. It's going it to be is, fun. Right? Uh, the two biggest losers in the tournament. The two biggest? Yeah. State of Alabama. Alabama and Auburn lost by about both. a combined 90 points. Mm -hmm. Both. Both. Mm -hmm. Both. The city of Cincinnati, where Cincinnati and Xavier, which you know Xavier right. is in Cincinnati. Yep. yep. Blew what, a 22-point lead, a 26-point lead? 25. I left that game. 25. Half. Nevada is my pick, 25. and I left it thinking. Really? Yeah. 25. The pack can't come back from, and uh, they did. They did. And they did. All right, it's going to be wow. fun. So the tournament, keep it going on basketball. Man. Uh, former Orlando Magic star Penny Hardaway yes. is the new head coach of the University of Memphis. Where, where he played he at. Played. Did he Wonderful. play with Keith Lee? I don't no. know. I don't know. It's like Penny Hardaway no. he's spending as much time in Lake Charles. I yeah, know it. He does. He, did a lot. he does. Here, right? He's, He's always here. Harold Too many stars. The, the former uh, Magic exactly basketball right. store who does the tournament of stars uh, had Penny Hardaway down a here number of years. He's had no, him here. That was that other guard, uh, the little guard, Lee Turner Lee or something that played uh, yeah. with Keith Lee. Anyway, wow. I'm getting off track here. All right, let's talk about Saints owner Tom Benson, who passed away last wow. Thursday, 90 years so old. Uh, boy, I tell you, his legacy. Lived a good life, man. He did. His legacy. Lived a good life. 70 million when he bought the Saints from John Meekham and yeah. he turned it into about a billion dollars yeah. worth of, of NFL properties and eight. such. But a boy, let me tell you, you know, he's like, like a pendulum. Yeah. You know, there was times there where we didn't, the state of Louisiana, we didn't like Tom Benson. Because he was thinking about moving us. I'm telling you. He was thinking about is going. It that, uh, is it that, you know, he has a lot of biz, uh, car business yeah. interest in San Antonio. It was always he does. the threat of San Antonio. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, I mean, Rick, and, the thing. I will always be convinced he wanted to yes. move after the trip. Paul, yeah. I wrote about this Sunday. Yeah, no, you're right, school. Yeah. He, it was. Paul Tagliabue is the reason the Saints are still in New Orleans. Yes. Because. The former commissioner, you are right. And I, I doubt Benson lost many negotiations in his life. That was to one. To his credit. That was one. He realized he was beat on yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. And he. As soon as he did, his whole tune changed. And to his credit, mm -hmm. not only did the Saints stay, they had their greatest success yes. in history. Yeah. You're right, Scooter. And, you know, you will, You're uh, right. you know, I give a lot of credit goes to Drew Brees and Sean Payton. Yeah. But I, I think after, after yeah. he lost that battle with Tagliabue, Benson did step up and make sure that Peyton had everything he needed. And, and that's important. Yeah. He, he didn't yeah. meddle. He's not a Jerry Jones. Never no. been a Jerry no. Jones. No, he didn't. He'd get on the sideline with the umbrella, but mostly that and was that's for, for, for fun. But, boy, that proves that you have to have a strong lightning rod kind of commissioner when these kind of issues come yeah. up. Because they do come up. Paul Tagliabue, and it, that should not have happened. I mean, he, he, saw, he saw the future if that, oh, yeah. if that happened, if the Saints moved. Especially after the, after the devastation and you know, of Hurricane At Katrina. the end of the day, for Tom Benson, not to be rude, but at the end of the day, it's all about dollars and cents for him, Rick. It is, but that's he it. made his, but he did. He did, the, the but, but that's wise. what it comes down to, Rick, it, the decision in that position. The decision was wise. And, and it look, was. Uh, now, with the, 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 the lawsuit of, of last year and the year before with his grandkids and his I kids, know. his third wife, wow. Gail, Yes, he's taking ownership of the team. I guess. I don't know. I there? guess. I don't know. I, 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 that is crazy. I don't know, I don't much know. about Gail Benson. Whoever, looks whoever. Like she's about in her 60s. Whoever, good yeah. yeah. And but I don't know much about football that she knows. Well, I mean, the kids like, and grandkids are out. Supposedly, but will they get a foothold down the line? From what I have, have read, the, really? the way that will and wow. everything, the trusts are set up. Yeah. Yep. There is no and way they can ever. And that's kind of sad. That, that, wow. that, that's kind of sad because I really wow. thought didn't know my that. daughter, wow. Renee, Renee Benson, I really thought at one time. No, you did. Yeah, is it, no, Rita, is it Rita? Not the daughter, yeah. the, not, the, but the you granddaughter. The granddaughter. I, I kinda, that's her. Yeah, I kind of thought. No, you did. Well, I you, did. You really? When, when, when she was wow. on good terms with Benson, but then that turned south. You yeah. That, yeah. Turned, that turned south. When they came back and had to play those games in Tiger Stadium. Yeah. Well, your mm -hmm. savior, Rita, mm -hmm. the Saints, 
uh, had what is normally the athletic director's mm -hmm. box uh -huh. there for, get, for the game. Right. That's right next to the press box. Right. Right. I had to pass by in the back of it. And she had a bunch, it looked like a bunch of college friends in mm -hmm. there. It sounded like a sorority tickle, really? tickle party going on well. in there. <laughs> All right, so as we close the show, Ooh, Scooter. Okay. the legacy of Saints owner Tom Benson, he's yeah. owned it since 85 ish, something like that. 86, 85, I don't know. Good or bad? It's been good. It's been good. I would, I would charge it as good. I would. For the city would, and for the state, good I would say only, good. Only, in, only because he did a good job of rehabilitating his image mm -hmm. yeah. he did. over, let's say, the yeah. last he 10 did. years. There are people who, who, who will so always be negative toward him Let me, be because of his negotiations with the state of Louisiana yes. and getting money out of the state legislature. Yeah. Yes. You know, for that all was, that facility. Yes. The but Rick, you know what? This, the practice if, facility. If you don't, the question you just asked was a good one, but if you don't win a Super Bowl, I would probably say something different. There you go. Key point there, Mr. Gidry. Thank you, sir. Without Getting the Super Bowl, the Super maybe Bowl. the legacy isn't as yes. good. Yes, All right, the I agree. The passing of Tom Benson. I agree. Rest in peace. This show will rest in peace for another week. We'll for do another it all week. again next yes. time, everybody. Sound Off 60 airs on Suddenly Cable Channel 4, Monday through Sunday nights at 9, and again Saturday and Sunday mornings at 10. Sound Off 60 also airs throughout Southwest Louisiana on Vibe Broadband Channel 6 at 9 p.m. Check your local listings. Post your questions and comments for the guys and access our website and our great advertising partners at soundoff60tv.com.